Hey guys, it's Juan Zuniga and this is Just Sick and today we're going to talk about the gadgets every guy needs in 2018, the budget edition. So you guys have been telling me that the products that I talked about and the must-have gadgets for 2018 were too expensive and you wanted some more affordable alternatives. So in this list, I'm gonna give you four of those products that are more affordable than the previous video. So let's start with the smartwatch or the fitness tracker. The one that I was able to find is the K1 Weso smartwatch or fitness tracker. This is more of a fitness tracker than a smartwatch, but you do get your notifications, you, your time, you can track your steps, your calories. You have a distance counter and a sedentary alert. So you basically get a lot of the features that you get with a smartwatch, but it's more of a fitness tracker. It is way smaller than the Apple Watch or any other fitness tracker in the market right now. It's more like a Fitbit type of thing. This one, you can get it for around $30, so it's very affordable compared to the Apple Watch or the Fitbit Blaze that you get for $200 or the like Apple Watch that you get for around $400 or $500. So this is the best bang for your buck that you can get. This thing even has a sleep monitor and it is waterproof. It is IPX7 rated, so you don't have to worry about it if it gets wet. So for the price, it is a must have. All right, so now let's talk about the second product. The second product is the alternative to the Bauer & Wilkins PX. Those, like I said, run for around $400 and the alternative is the MPOW 059 and these you get them for around $40. So it's a huge price difference. It's a huge difference between both of them, but don't let that deter you because these are good quality headphones. I mean, they don't compare to the Bauer & Wilkins, of course, but they're still very, very good headphones. You get a wireless headphone via Bluetooth and you can also wire them because it has an auxiliary cord and an auxiliary port so you can wire them to your computer or your cell phone. These, unlike the Bauer & Wilkins, are passive noise cancellation, so they're not completely going to cancel out the noise like the Bauer and Wilkins, but they're very, very good at what they do and their passive noise cancellation. Now, you know how much I love the m -Pulse. I've talked about the m -Pulse so many times when it came to the small little earbuds. I thought they were great because the price was perfect at $20. Just like those, these are perfect at $40. They fold and you can put them in your backpack and they're 40 bucks. I mean, it's not like they're cheap, but if something happens to them, it's not gonna hurt you as much as spending $400 like the Bauer & Wilkins. The looks of these are not as good as the other ones, but they look pretty darn good. They look, they're solid, they look good, they're comfortable, and they're wireless. So you have nothing to lose for 40 bucks. Check them out guys, I'll have the link down below. All right, the third product is the alternative to the Sonos One speaker. The Sonos One speaker runs for $200 and the alternative is the Fabrique and this one runs for 50 bucks. Yes, $50 for a speaker. I mean, it is not the same size as the Sonos One, but it's nice and compact that you can take it everywhere. And the great thing about this one is that it's 50 bucks and you can connect up to 10 of these speakers all working together so you can have them in different rooms. And the great thing about it is that you can play the same song in all the speakers or you can play different songs and different speakers. And just like the Sonos One speaker, this one comes with Alexa integrated just in a smaller package and at a smaller price. So if you guys are interested in a speaker that is a good alternative to the Sonos One, the Fabrique is not a bad idea. And finally is the alternative to the Nomad. The Nomad ran for around 50 bucks and the alternative here is the Jackery portable battery and this one runs for around $30. Now, this one doesn't look like the Nomad. The Nomad is more of a cable. It's a 1.5 meter cable with the battery integrated into that cable. But I couldn't find something that was the same. This is the best alternative I could find at $30. Now, this one is even better than the Nomad because the battery capacity of the Nomad was around 2300 milliamps. This one's around 6000 milliamps, so it has a bigger capacity and it does come with cable so so you can charge your devices and you don't have to worry about carrying extra cables with you. Now, like I said, it doesn't look the same and it's not completely the same, but it's a very good alternative at a very good price and a very good capacity. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this budget edition of the must have gadgets every guy should need in 2018. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Remember to comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.